the news you expect right to you. Download the KWCH 12 News app. You're watching 12 News This Morning. Dodge City Police are clarifying a social media post causing concern for some. What you should look out for. We've created something that inter interacts with at least 100,000 people a year. You know, and it's affected a lot of people's lives. Um, that's pretty special. It's worthwhile keeping going. And people from all over the country came together in Lawrence this past weekend, all for the Monarch Butterfly. Their goal coming up. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome in. I'm Shane Kanicki, meteorologist Jake Dunn, joining us this morning. Jake, you've got some good news for those of us who are tired of the heat. Yeah, and I'm one of those people, Shane. I tell you what, back-to-back -back days of record highs in Wichita. Help is coming, but not until tomorrow. But at 5 o'clock today, we're still baking hot, but cold front's going to move into northern Kansas. Now, this is an addition to the forecast. We may see a couple of thunderstorms, north-central Kansas, places like Russell, Salina, Concordia, Belleville, but then overall, the front will be dry as it moves through your area, but then on the back side, we're talking about rain becoming likely, especially tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, rain and thunder. And then as we move farther south, we're talking about scattered showers, especially Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then take a look at your temperatures on Thursday afternoon, 50s and 60s in northern Kansas, 70s for southwest and south central Kansas. Those rainfall amounts have also grown. We'll take a look at how much in around 10 minutes. Doppler's quite this morning. So again, nothing out the door. Today's focus will be the heat. And if you've already been outside, you know what I'm talking about. Hill City 78, 76 in Dodge City. We've got mostly 70s in central Kansas, though we're not too far from 80 in Concordia, Newton, Hutch, all at 79, a little bit lower in Wichita at 72. Your hour by hour, kind of like the past few days, we're going to soar through the 90s and right around 100 or 101 today. By the way, 99 is the record high today. So if we get to 99, we tie it 100 and we break it once again. Thank you, Jake. New this morning, police in Dodge City believe a social media post that's caused some concern is false. Someone shared this picture in a community Facebook page claiming a young girl was found near an apartment. Police say the person who made the post lives in Africa and has posted similar claims on other Facebook pages here in Kansas. Now we do want to keep this in front of you, though. Police here in Wichita continue their search for a missing 12 year old girl, and they're asking for the community's help. Giselle Baker was reported as a runaway Monday morning. She was last seen in the 1700 block of North Westland Street. That's near 13th and Zoo Boulevard. She was wearing a blue T-shirt, black leggings and black shoes. If you see her or know where she is, please call 911. Now this is the last butterfly tagging event Taylor is attending as a head of the Monarch Watch. And although he's retiring from leading the event, you'll still find him at a Monarch Watch tagging from time to time. Take a look at what to expect. It is going to be hot, but then we're getting some of those thunderstorms and fall is hitting us by Thursday. We'll get all of your details on your forecast from Jake coming up. A new study suggests if you're over the age of 65 and have had COVID, then you may have a higher risk of being diagnosed with Alzheimer's. More details when we return. And a growing number of young people are using apps like TikTok as a new Google, but a new report finds that putting them at risk for misinformation. We'll have the details next on 12 News This Morning. From KWCH, you're watching 12 News This Morning. Online at KWCH.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Shane, so much can happen overnight. Yeah, that's why we get in so early. Absolutely, we need all that time so we can get the information and get it all on the air. Yeah, and catch everybody up on what's going on. For sure. Get your day started with 12 News This Morning on KWCH and KSCW. Get your custom Storm Team 12 forecast on KFDI.